guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today we've uh, I'm sh I'm showing my uh, call it closer and my angle plate that I use over on the bandsaw, but that's not what I'm demonstrating today. I'm demonstrating a way to uh, ease your transition and ease your uh, workload as you're doing uh, small thin parts like this. What I've got is an air call it closer with a spring loaded backstop, so it ejects my part. Okay. And that's a hard, it's got a hardens backstop in there, spring loaded, so it ejects when, we're, when we do release. All right. Um, actually, what we're demonstrating today is a deburring tool. Now, we had these at the bash. This is made by a company called Bordo, and that's an Australian company. And they're going to be available on the Engineer's Black Book website coming up. Uh, I'm not ready to give you a link, but I just thought I'd demonstrate. People say, oh, well, those are for construction guys. I'm going to demonstrate right now what these are good for in a shop environment. So let's get a cut made. Give me a little oil on the blade. Uh, this is Inconel. This is no fun to work with. If you don't like working with nickel, don't work with Inconel. Alright, so our cut's made. We're going to go ahead and eject the part pull it out just a little bit we're gonna go ahead and clamp it back in that's got a real nasty edge right there and next stop for this is in the lathe so what we want to do is just come in here give that a little tiny hit and I'll see if I can show you what that did there so that's re that's ready to drop into a collet no deburring necessary now you got a big loose end here right there that has to go back in the collet and get it ready to make another cut. So now usually we'd run over to the belt sander and clean that up and get it ready to go back in the collet, but in all reality we can hold it in our bare hands right here and just give it a give it a hit with that. We pulled that burr down enough that she's going to pop right into a collet and we can continue our work, you know. There it goes right in there. Cut, 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 and just continue with your work. Okay, so that's it guys. That's how you uh, do an OD deburring um, with a Bordo deburring tool, five flute deburring tool. Uh, it's pretty handy to keep next to the bandsaw and a cordless drill just for deburring your parts. And you can just kind of deburr as you go. Uh, that's how you use it in this type of environment. Uh, look for a torture test coming up on the channel here in the next uh, week or so. Thanks for watching.